Hey guys, Michael with ArmchairBuilder.com here. Hey, we've been sharing with you our blog series on how to build a home. Now whether you plan on building your own home as an owner builder or hiring a company to do it for you, there's some things you can do to prevent problems. So today I want to share with you our foundation quality checklist to help you ensure you get a solid trouble-free foundation for your new dream home. Let's take a look. First we want to check that the top of the foundation is level. If the carpenter has to shim the sill plate, there will be gaps for air and insects to come into the house. So the easiest way to check for level is to use a transit or laser level checking along the random locations along the top of the foundation. Now you can rent these at most rental shops and you want to make sure that it's within one eighth of an inch around the top of the foundation of level. Now the next thing you want to do is to check the plan dimensions match the foundation. Now a lot of materials are ordered before starting the house. So things like roof trusses, if, they, if the foundation is bigger or off size, then the roof trusses won't match and you're going to have a problem. The other thing we want to check is the thickness of the foundation. Now it can change from one wall to the next based on the loading, the depth of the basement, and uh, other point loads that might be on it. So you want to make sure we check that. Next we want to check the anchor bolts or straps on the top of the foundation. It's actually embedded into the concrete and there should be roughly within every one foot of a corner and then every six feet along the top. So these anchor bolts actually hold the house down to the foundation as you can see here. We also want to check all of the concrete walls for any voids or honeycombing. These can weaken the wall and sometimes create leaks. The concrete in this wall is nice and solid all the way through. The next thing we want to do is to check all beam pockets and make sure they're of the right depth and width for the beams. Here's an example of a bad beam pocket. You can see the carpenter notched the beam so that it would fit. The actual beam pocket depth wasn't deep enough. And if your home has brick on it, we want to check the entire foundation for the locations of the brick ledge. Um, per the plan, you're going to need a brick ledge to support full depth brick anywhere it shows up on the, on the plan. And last but not least, we want to make sure that foundation wall is centered on the spread footing so that we don't get an unbalanced loading condition and potential structural problems in the future. So these are some great professional builder tips to ensure you get a quality foundation. Our goal here at ArmchairBuilder.com is to give you the tools and advice to help you look out for yourself when building. So stop by our blog to see the entire home building process from start to finish. And don't forget, you really can build your own home with a little help. So until next time, I'm Michael Luckadoo with ArmchairBuilder.com.